Now, the trade war between the world's two biggest economies is having far-reaching effects right across the globe, and it could be about to get a lot worse because President Trump is considering a massive escalation in his dispute with China over what he sees as their unfair trade practices. He has threatened to tax a further $200 billion worth of Chinese goods on top of the existing $50 billion. Now, U.S. businesses and individuals have until the end of today to submit their views. Well, Oliver Cornick is the editor-in-chief of the Oxford Business Group and joins me now. Uh, now, Donald Trump says that these are unfair business practices. Why does he think they're unfair? Well, he, he feels that China, a huge producer of inputs into American products, um, gets a, a very easy deal, bluntly. And America has an imbalance in trade, a trade deficit with China. And he argues that increasing taxes, import taxes on those products from China, will help to address that trade, in, um, trade um, imbalance. The trouble is that very few economists believe that to be the case. In fact, um, the real cost is going to be passed on to the American consumer in lots of ways, and also the American businesses that he ironically is saying that he wants to support through this. So it's a very tr it's a, a, a thorny issue. Um, now, undoubtedly, there are some unfair trade practices. The question is quite how you go about tackling them. This is very characteristically bombastic of Donald Trump. You know, this has gone from 50 billion to 200 billion, though, Victoria. This is a mm. huge escalation. It is a huge escalation. Uh, I mean, this is a president who is definitely looking for a second term. If all the economists think that he's wrong, and actually this is going to hurt the U.S. consumer, it's going to hurt the U.S. manufacturer, why would he be shooting himself in the foot? I, I'm not sure that all of them, there will be some who, who believe it's the right way of going about things. But when you look and read and listen to businesses, they're all worried about this. You look more broadly around the world and also the emerging markets are worrying about it and they're really hurting already. This trade uncertainty, this volatility stepping back is really scaring investors. It's worrying emerging markets. It's worrying China's um, you know, network within Asia. And this was, you know, we talk about contagion here. This is, this is the start of something, potentially. But there is a possibility for negotiation. One of the, well, ironically, one of the good things about having a maverick president of the United States is that he seems to have absolutely no shame in doing a U-turn. And that, in, in a funny way, could be a good thing. He's prepared to, to lose a lot of face, isn't he? Mm, uh, it, yes, it appears he is. Uh, silver linings, always finding them. Oliver Cornett, thank you very much.